Hey, hello everybody. Welcome. You're a girl upcycled studio online with Kelly Weiler. So glad to see all of you. Hello, hello. Um, we are back again live for the part three of the painted bench that I have over here. Um, so we're going to go through, um, if you missed the first couple parts, I take you through um, all the layers of this chippy layered texturized look that I'm doing right here. Um, so you can check out part one and two to get all the details of that. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of the difference between before I wax and after I wax. I've done a lot of waxing demos, so I'm not going to do the waxing start to finish or anything, but I do want to show you real quick the before and after of how that changes the color of the paint. Hi sis, hi Paula, how are you? Um, you guys, let me know if this sounds okay. I had a ton of trouble with my app um, on Tuesday that I used, so, <coughs> excuse me. So if, if it's lagging or something's happening, let me know and I'll have to use my laptop. But so unless I hear from you, I'm gonna assume everything's loud and clear. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. Okay, let me just pull this up so you can kind of see. Can you see how bright the tabletop is? Good. Okay, tabletop is kind of bright, and if you look over on the other side, see how it's toned down and it's more subtle? That's because I've added the dark wax. That's what the dark wax can do for this piece. It'll really tone it down and all that good stuff. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the little, the little cushion. I'm going to do, I don't know, some kind of funky florally kind of stuff today. So, okay, good. Thank you, Paula. Thanks, sis. So, um, I don't really have a big plan in my head. I'm just going to start painting and y'all can watch and I'll give you a little bit of a close up. Okay. Hopefully that works. Okay. And I really appreciate those of you that <coughs> spread the love. Um, a little bit of a little bit of a teaser or something that you can do. Um, so the way that you are looking at it, this is the front, right? Wait a minute. Let me go find, let me go put this on here make sure. I think I have that backwards. No, this is the, nope. Okay. This is the back and this is the front. So you want to keep that in mind when you're when you're painting things. So this is my back. So I'm going to turn it. So you're going to be watching it kind of upside down a little bit. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do some kind of like abstracty floral, floral kind of thing today. Um, I'm not real sure if I'm going to do big or if I'm going to do small or what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm just going to, let's see wet my brush down and I'm going to kind of sketch and kind of like think about like maybe what I want to do. Oh, somebody's tapping on my door. Um, I'm, I'm going to class right now. Yeah, I'm on the live. All right, so here we go. Sorry about that, guys. That happens. Lots of windows here, so I'm going to do maybe something like that. Um, I think I'm going to do, this is just a good way to sketch out before you continue. So I think I'm going to do some flowers, I mean flowers, some leaves, some feathers. So I'm just lightly sketching out. Um, let's do, let's do like a, hmm, let's do, how do I want to do this? I can't think of 
my next move. I want to maybe even throw in some paisley. So I'm kind of, you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do this. I know I want to do this first and then I'll kind of see if I want to work in a little bit of paisley print, but I think that'll be a good start and that'll be the size. Hey Jojo, good to see you. Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. What is that? This is a cushion that's going to go on the top of a gossip bench. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm going to pull out some of my colors that I've already used. So I've got some orange tones that I've used. I feel bad when people are tapping on my door and I can't, I can't go to the door and answer it. It makes me feel bad. All right, so let's do this. I think I want to use a, a larger brush. Do -do -do. Let me see. My favorite brush is not here. This one has an angle on it, so I don't know. So I'm using Orange Crush right now, guys. Well, hello, Michelle. How are you, my friend? So I'm going to kind of throw in some quick layers. But that comes in so helpful, you guys. Um, when you think about trying to lay out your design, if you're unsure at first, because I usually don't know when I start something. I'm kind of usually just, I just usually like to play. Anybody else like that? I just kind of like to play around. So I'm just getting my base coats on here. This, again, is my Summer Crush. And I have Summer Crush and some, actually I think I have Fire Starter in my bench and I will be using Fire Starter on top of this. So, but for right now we're just going to get my layout in here. I am painting, this was a canvas seat, you guys. It was, or not canvas, I'm sorry, sorry it was, um, Leathery. My mind's not good today. <laughs> not to Candace Vinyl, for Pete's sake. It's vinyl. So I just painted right over it. And the base coat that I use is Old School. And I actually used Old School as the base in the little bench that I painted. So I'm pulling in all of those colors. And we'll make them work, right? Make it work. Who is it that says that, Tim Gunn? Anybody else out there a Project Runway fan? I loved him. I wish they'd bring him back. Tim Gunn, he was the man. All right, so there's my base. Um, vinyl is great to paint on. Yeah, Betsy, um, I just saw something you posted the other day. It was amazing. Um, thanks, Michelle. Michelle's posting some of the colors I'm using. If you like, if you want to give this a try, you guys, there's lots and lots of sales and things like that going on out there. Heidi has a new show. Oh, I'm not a big Heidi fan. What is it, though? Sorry, Heidi, but I'm just not. <laughs> Heidi fan. Let's go ahead with some fire starter and let's like throw some of that in there. This is pretty thick too. I think I want to thin that down just so it. I 
I know you guys had requested sunflowers on this, but I was thinking about the last little chair that I did, and it actually had sunflowers on it, one of my happy chairs, and so I kind of wanted to do this differently. I hope y'all are okay with that. Who knows, we might sneak a little sunflower in. When it's all said and done, you just never know. That just pulled that brightness up. This is fire starter. Um, so a lot of times when I do these flowers, like the, the orange tone or whatever tone, I like to use like three to four different colors of the same kind of tone or value. It gives it different, it gives it value by doing that, I guess is what I should say. <laughs> with all those different hues and all that good stuff. So now I've got a little bit of cowgirl coral. Let's see what that does. Just using my little palette knife this. I might need to wait till it dries a little bit, but we'll see. The key to it, if you're working on wet paint, is I don't want to scrape. Remember, I just want to kind of lay it in there. So lay it in. and beyond my original flower because I don't like just a solid edge on my flower but but it's all up to you I like mine a little more abstract um, and it's just the personal it's the personal preference there's no right or wrong way Karen, can't think of the name. I'm sorry, I just lost that, what that said. Can't think of the name of what. Oh, it just came to me. It's called, oh, Making It Work. Well, that's, that's kind of, yeah, because he always said that, make it work, right? All right, so I know I want that. I know I want to do some kind of funky, flowery, not flowery, um, feathery kind of stuff. Do some feathery. So I've got some white, white swan, I believe. And I like to use a brush that has a point to it to do my my feathers. It has a nice point. Is the feed still doing okay? Hi, Miss Marsha. Hello, hello. feathers. I do feathers on so many things. It's kind of, kind of my thing, at least for now. Everybody has their thing, right? Just doing really nice thin little strokes back and forth. Hey, if y'all, if there's anybody that's local that's watching, um, there's actually music in the park tonight over at Restoration Park that is in the neighborhood here. So if you're looking for something fun to do and you're looking to get the heck out of the house, um, come on over and enjoy the fun. 
just following that same brush stroke over and over again. Kind of a nice day. It's been beautiful here. I don't know what, where you're at and what your weather's like, but ours has been just, just so beautiful. Play with it. So I kind of want it to look like it's back behind. This was such a just just a kind of ho hum dingy looking little telephone bench, or they used to call it a gossip bench. So I think this will really zhush it up a little bit. <laughs> Summer crush with old school. Thank you, Cheryl. I love it how y'all um, jump in and help each other out on the colors. So pretty. Love watching you. Thank you so much. I'm not sure who that is. It says Facebook user. I can't see your name, but thank you so much. Um, I usually try to watch on my computer so I can see the feed a little bit better. But I'm afraid to take the internet, you know, I have to use my internet to do that. And I'm afraid that since it's been acting wonky, I'm afraid to do that. So if you guys are having trouble seeing, this is how it's going to be. So this is, this is how it's looking. So, so far. Kind of looks kind of cool so far with the dark background, doesn't it? Um, thanks, Michelle. You do. You do have, you have a lamp. Yeah, you bought a lamp with the feathers on it. Yeah, totally have. A, it's a sickness. I love me some feathers. What can I say? It is a sickness. But yeah, so this is part three. If y'all are tuning in and you missed the beginning, um, you can watch the entire transformation of the little gossip bench. It's such a cute little little piece, um, but it was kind of ho hum. Well, it's kind of boring, so you know we can't have that. Okay. So that's kind of my original thinking here. Let's do, let's see. I might need to pull another little flat, a little, let's do another one right there. Why not? I do. I find, I find feathers everywhere too. Like when I'm out, I have them all over the place in here in the studio. If you come in, there's a little boy in earlier and he goes, Kelly, I found a, another one of your feathers. And I said, Oh, you can just have that. I was all excited. <laughs> My little neighbor downstairs. He's so cute. Love it. And wings. Lots of stuff. This one needs to be have a curl to it. It puts a little curl on it. Said I've got a really thin little brush here. It has a really nice little tip on it. And it gives you that really nice wispy, really nice little soft wispy kind of 
layer when you do that. Hi, Julie. Julie Lincoln in the house. Uh, Marsha is listening to Tom Petty. Yes, girl. Yes, yes, yes. stuff here. I don't know how realistic I want this to be. Let's just kind of like just kind of do some fun stuff here and see what happens. Um, doing things that are a little more on the whimsical side, you can kind of get away with doing some fun little lines and textures and little things like that. You can get away with that, right? Let's see. Let's do, let's take this bright orange. in there. I always like to use the back of my brush for the little dots. And I am using Firestarter right now. Just the color I'm using. I'm just kind of outlining it and just having fun guys. So the idea is kind of just doing like almost like a textile design, even though we're hand painting it. That's kind of what I'm trying to duplicate. And again, I'm using a lot of the colors that I used in the bench so I'll be using all of those colors give you a little close-up of what I just did and you can kind of see the coral really makes it pop doesn't it okay so let's take what else other colors did I use into the into the feather a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, I like it. Here on the very, very tip of it. What is everyone's weather like? You guys want to make sure um, if you missed my post earlier today, I've got a post asking all of you to share your latest works. So I'm gonna make sure you all do that. Because your, 
your time to show off your your talent. Like I don't know. If I change my mind, I can I can change it back, right? But I do like the flower with the coral. Um, I think that's kind of a cool. That's kind of a cool thing. Um, let's see. I feel like I need a couple more something over here. A couple more flowers. I think since I've got most of it covered in Old 57, I feel like I need to do some kind of something with the Old 57. Of course. So, my poor brush is not doing too good, is it? vines or something. Keep it simple. It's a great way to change your look up with all these great vines that you come across, right? It's basically just doodling. And like I said, if you're not sure of what you wanna do, you can just simply go over it while it's still wet. It's hot and humid in Virginia. Thanks, Karen. 100 degrees for the last 11 days. Oh my goodness, girl. Out of town. You probably feel like you want to get out of town, don't you? Oh, I cannot take it. I can't take the hot weather. It's been actually pretty nice here. I'm not going to complain. So I'm going to extend this little... Oh, I really like the, of course I do. I, re, I like the old 57 added on there. <laughs> so typical. Okay, let's do, what else do we want to do? I wish I used pink. I have no pink. I do have yellow in there, so we could use some yellows. So let's start off with cake batter maybe. And then I'll work my way up into the, the tones. I don't know what I want to do. What should I do? I just kind of feel like I want to do some kind of like abstracty kind of thing. Let's, I'm going to use my fingers. I don't know. This could be a mistake. If it is, I can always paint over it. You guys, the one thing I want to get through to you. <laughs> above all else is not being afraid to just explore. This is cake batter. Let's go over here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what kind of flower I'm making. Just kind of doing like some little Clusters, I guess. It's fun.
use lots of different things for paint brushes, including your fingers. Thank you. Like the yellow? Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab my liquid sunshine now. Let's brighten it up a little bit. not really trying to mix it. Just kind of adding another layer. You guys, those of you that have watched me long enough now, you know that it's all about the layers as far as I'm concerned. I said it's not all about the base, it's all about the layers. <laughs> that song that was out. It's all about the layers. Not sure if I like the blue on the feathers now that it's drying and I'm looking at it, so I might have to alter it just a little bit. Hi, Judith. Hysterical. <laughs> oh, in it. You all thought it was all about the base, didn't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all still did. So I've got that over there. So I feel like I need to pull a little yellow over here. So let's just do that right now. Pull some of that over here. So what you want to do is you're thinking about your composition, even though it's on a chair, right? You still want to think about balance of your painting. You want to make it flow. And right. Going right over some of that greenery that I did with the old 57. That's okay. watching this one lady on um, TikTok. I don't know, are, are any of you on TikTok? <laughs> oh my goodness, be careful. If y'all do get on there, just be careful because I'm telling you what, it is addicting. You don't want to, you'll find yourself on there. You'll be like, I'm just going to get on there for five minutes and an hour later, you're like, why am I still on here? I'm going to take it all the way around Went to the lip of this. Why not? But anyway, this lady that I, I watch, I'll have to get her name. She's just the most beautiful black woman. She's got this beautiful afro and skin, and she just has this calm, motherly like voice. And she's always on there talking about, you know, giving advice to, because there's a lot of kids on there, and motherly like advice. And, and she'll get on there and she'll say, and I'm going to do it this way because it's my business. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I've got to adopt that because it's, it's my business. I like that because it's my business. I have to get her name and let y'all know because she's a hoot. Y'all would love her. Those of you, if you're on, if you know who I'm talking about, put her name in. on deleted that app to invasive of price oh <laughs> well Heather guess what they are all pretty invasive of your privacy that is for sure unfortunately it's not just TikTok I think they're looking for a company to buy it an American company but it's still, they're still going to know all your business because it's their business. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. What does it need? What 
don't you think? Don't you think it needs guys? I don't know. Let's do Most are U.S. and have to abide by U.S. laws. Yeah, but the U.S., they're all, all of the U.S. ones are, are all up in our business, too, though. No matter, you know what I mean? They're all tracking, like, our, our habits and our, all the stuff. That's for sure. I don't know that any of them are too good. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but I think it's probably true. Okay, let's go. See what I'm doing over here. I'm just doing these little leaps. <laughs> China can use whatever they want without your permission. Like what? Opt out of agreeing to give them your data. Okay. I'll, I might have to. What do I need to do for that? I don't really. I mean, the only thing I share on there is business stuff, so I'm not real sure what they would be getting, but it's hard to tell. I don't trust any of them, girl. <laughs> if we want to get down to it, I just don't. I do not trust any. What do you think, guys? What's it need? I've got some old stuff I'm looking at. Some old stuff ideas from I think the, the blue is, is nicely popping on there so I think I need to continue with the blue okay we'll continue with that let me add a little bit of water to the so if it starts dragging if you notice your brush starts dragging on you you just need to um, basically just add a little bit of water This is just really kind of simple stuff, guys. I don't, this isn't a real, you know, hard little painting that I'm doing. Any beginner could do this style of painting right here. It's very, very simple. If you're new, um, if you're kind of new to painting or um, maybe you've just, Maybe you don't have a, um, a lot of training on on layering and things like that. Something like this is really simple and easy for you. Um, you're basically just not doing a lot of blending. Just there's just a lot of I kind of call it doodly doodles kind of stuff. Which I think is very therapeutic. So I'm just gonna give it a little, a little fun. I call them my happy chairs, so they gotta be, they gotta be pretty fun and pretty happy. So I always have to do some kind of fun little design. greenery. Um, get my water to it. The paint, this 
DIY paint that I'm using, guys, it does dry out pretty quick, so you just need to reactivate it throughout your painting to use it. Um, I find it dries a bit quicker than acrylic, but it does reactivate and loosens back up, whereas acrylic isn't really going to do that for you. Your acrylic paints kind of get rubbery on you, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to come in here and add some greenery. Oops, accidentally got the old 57. See, my brush just automatically goes to old 57, whether I want it to or not. It's just drawn to go there. Oh, I was going to do some little paisleys in here, and I didn't do that. Maybe I'll do it here in a little bit. We'll see what we can fit in here. This is a uh, gypsy green I'm using. Filling it all up. Anybody else painting today? I haven't painted all day. This is my first time today painting, so. Hopefully y'all can see okay. It does help when I can use my phone when I tape this because I can angle it a little bit easier than I can on my my laptop. But I do have a, a nice camera. I haven't learned how to use it yet, so I should be getting better as the time goes on, but for now. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm liking this now. too stark. I think a little touch is good. It's such a vibrant blue that it will take over, so I like that better. I just added, let me show you what I did, added a little white and just kind of muted that just a little bit. Um, hello. Okay, Heather, I'll look on my I'll try to do that on my data. Will you be outlining the rows to create petals? I don't know. I haven't. I mean, I haven't decided yet. Probably needs a little bit darker color in there, doesn't it? But I'm liking all the the contrast of the dark with the bright. So I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be very folk art looking, I think, by the time I get done with this. Hey, folky. And that's okay. Oh, I think let's do, um, let's have some fun with this. So I'm just doing these basic shapes. And let's go over it. I've got some, my white. This is White Swan, and again, I'm going to hmm, outline some of these leaves. Just for fun, because it's our business and we can do that. And I don't say it nearly as good as, I gotta get the name of that lady. It's, a, it's my business. Oh, 
know what? Like I said, this is turning out to be more whimsical. I didn't really go into it thinking it would be this way, but hey, I must have, I must have just needed something light and um, lighthearted today. And that's what I think. Whimsical painting is very fun and lighthearted, not serious. It's like I said, it's almost like a folk art would be. And you can get away with doing fun little, so little dots. I love the details, you guys. I love doing little minute. I need to get my studio at home set up because I would get so much more done. Hi, Nelly. How are you over on YouTube? Tiganique? I hope I said that right. I, I feel like I just ruin your name every time, girl. I hope I didn't. Um, whimsical is what that bench needs. Yeah. Girl. I didn't like I didn't plan it but hey you know I was actually thinking about this earlier and I was thinking about doing like um some kind of like a western longhorn like a steer or something on it or just because it has like that western kind of flair I don't know it must not have been been meant to be So, let's do a little, let's have some fun with this leaf. And I'm going to do these little scallops around it. So I wanted to do some kind of paisley print, but I guess this is kind of going to make up for it, right? Kind of remind you of a paisley, paisley print. <laughs> Anyone doing a vacation or have you done one? I don't think we're going to make it this year. Um, if I was able to do anything, I would be joining the ladies over at Debbie's for her opening, but I'm not able to make that. So hopefully I'll be able to make some other things that are going on. So look at the little scallop that I just added. That's a fun little, that's a fun little things you can do to any of your florals that you want to do. Thanks, Michelle. Are those white feathers? They are. Added just a little tiny touch of blue. And I think I might add, um, I could do that now. I'm going to add a little bit of what is called pennies from heaven. I love a little touch of gold oh, on my feathers. Goodness. Gold or, this is actually copper. Gold or copper, either one. And I'm just going to use, this is a close-up of it. I just like to shake it, and then I use my little lid a lot of times. And just paint that. And I like this, the copper, because it's actually going to have almost like a, a orange kind of a hue, which is going to look nice with the flowers in this. This is the penny 
Dreams from Heaven. This was one of the newer metallics that Debbie came out with from Debbie's Design Diary, which I, I carry all that stuff. Um, and I love it. I love, love, love it. I'm just lightly adding that into the base, the very tip of that, I mean. I'm just kind of using a little wispy. And I like my feathers kind of imperfect imperfection is good with the flower or with the feathers so you can see how it's shining a little bit um, oh you're going oh you're going to Debbie's oh you're excited that I'm not going <laughs> I know what you meant Michelle you're so funny I know Michelle I I, I wanted to go. Debbie was like, are you coming? And I'm like, I can't. I can't leave right now. There's no way I can get out of town right now. So we have stuff going on at home. Just not, I'm not able to go. But she was like, oh, she's so sweet. Um, but I I told her, I'm like, I, I want to get out there sometime and see her. Just one of these days, these days I'll just surprise her and fly out fun. I don't know if I could do that. Can I make it a surprise? Oh, that's fun with the... Nice. That's what those feathers needed. A little bling. think I need a little bit of prairie gray and I think the prairie gray is going to be perfect for a little bit of shading that I need to do um, if you guys that those of you that use the DIY paint for your artwork prairie gray is really really nice for shading and, and um, when you're doing florals and things like that oh this got a little thick on me um, Prairie Gray is just a really nice, earthy, has kind of a clay, a clay-like feel and color, and I love it. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't see a lot of people use it. I use it a lot. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to use my finger first and do like a little bit of like pounces on this. A bit of pouncing. It'll dry a little bit lighter, so I'm not too worried about it. Just using my finger right now. Don't be afraid to try it, you guys. If you don't like it, you can go back over. Hello, Lolly. How are you? Cheeky poo. Plane tickets are so cheap. Oh, oh my goodness. I know, Lolly. Me too. Well, you and me both, we need to make it out there, don't we? Maybe we can coordinate and surprise her someday, huh? Wouldn't that be fun? Don't be afraid to try things. Even though there's a big contrast there, I'm going to let it dry. I'm not going to overthink that right now, okay? So I'm going to dip in, and I think I'm going to add just a smidgen of white so that it tones it down just a little bit, and then I will, no, I want to go back dark again. It's too late. There we go.
they scared my train? Not my train, but not my personal train. <laughs> that put shadowing in there, didn't it? And then you can always take your finger and kind of blend it out a little bit if you need to, or we can clean our brush. I like to have two things of water here, so when my water gets dirty, I can start using that other one and make sure my brush is nice and clean. Blend it a little bit if you want. Anybody watching anything good? Like, is there anything good on Netflix that I'm missing? Or I like to get different things lined up for when my when my hubs is on different shifts. I can watch something. Although I don't watch a ton of stuff. I honestly, by the time I get home, I do just fall asleep. <laughs> By the time I'm done working. <laughs> Supernatural. Oh, is that a good one? She worked her tail. I know she did. She did work her tail off. Thank you. You love my train. Let me give you a close up of what that's looking like. Um, let's see. I feel as though. What else does it need, guys? Do I need a couple of smaller orange, little orange ones over here, or what do I need? things here on this one. You can really get a lot of ideas from like a Zen Tangle kind of art. You guys have you heard of that? Where they just kind of do design on top of design. It's kind of a fun thing. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. fun because you don't really know how it's going to end up. Thank you. Will you seal with anything? I will. I'm going to seal this with a product called Big Top. And that's going to put a nice um, protection on it. And what will happen to it is it's going to have almost like a, a leather kind of a feel. And the durability is going to be pretty good, so you don't have to, you know, worry about that. And it shouldn't chip. Um, yeah, it should wear pretty well. Thank you guys for the shares, sharing the love. I appreciate that. Um, so, I think I was talking today about trying to post a weekly like a scheduled weekly live every Wednesday. It'll either be 6 or 6.30, I haven't decided, uh, probably 6. Um, but it'll be scheduled, and I'm going to call it, you know, I've been calling it this for a while, but Fresh Paint with Kelly is what I'm going to call it. Um, and I'll have just a time every week that y'all know that I'll be live. And I'm over here on Eastern Time. And then um, the rest of it, I don't know if I'll be able to pre-schedule, but I think that'll at least give you all a, a time when you know that I'm gonna be live. Because I'm kind of off the fly, and it's because my studio, you know, I never know. I never know sometimes if it's, 
it'll go live or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some dots in here too, guys. Just because it's my it's my business. I told you I was gonna adopt that. You can have a lot of fun with just doing dots. I teach glass painting, white glass painting, and I've seen the most beautiful designs done by people that have come in and they're afraid and they say they can't make a design and they can't do things. And I've seen the most beautiful designs done just with dots. Because, I mean, look what the dots just did to that, you guys. Simple, right? Anybody can do that. Aw, thanks, Michelle. I'm excited, too. So, with that being said, if those of you that are catching this, because we are well, about at an hour now, guys. So, let me just raise, raise this for a minute so y'all can see my face. I'm rock and roll today, guys. <laughs> but anyway, ooh, I'm liking it. I think, I'm feeling like this needs... I need to do some more work on this flower here. What I will do is I will post a picture of the finished project. This will be on top of my little um, seat and I'll do a stage photo and it'll be in the thumbnail here on my YouTube channel. Um, and I'll try to remember to post it over on my Facebook too so that you all can see the finished. Uh, picture of it but I'm just going to continue doing the little doodles um, I think I'm going to add maybe a little bit of maybe orange tone here maybe um, but with that being said those of you that are catching this live if you would please in the comment section or, or even later those of you on YouTube you're probably watching this later I want you to in the comment section please post for me what project you would like to see during the fresh paint series that I'm going to be doing. Okay? So, um, like if you have seen a project that I've done, paint finish, could be a paint finish that you've seen somewhere or that you've seen me do. Um, if I know the tips and tricks for it, I will show you. Um, other than that, I'll also be doing a lot of like things from the thrift stores and upcycling things because I always like to do that and I sell that stuff here in my store and I will be selling that stuff on my um, website too. We're getting that kind of set up and so that we can have more of the items in-house actually on my website now rather than just for the locals. So it's going to be available to all of you that are watching. So. Um, those of you over on YouTube, make sure you go down into the comment section and let me know what you're interested in seeing. Like, do you want to know how to, I don't know, paint blending? Do you want to know um, something I do with art? Um, glass painting. Um, so let me know. That's how I run my Creators Club too. My Creators Club is currently closed. It will be open back up in September and they pretty much drive it. And that's, that's what I want the Fresh Paint with Kelly to be. I want it to be um, for the public and I want it to be something just the, a little, little DIY that I can give to the public out there. So, okay. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Thank you. I have your necklace on. This is my my sister is Earth and Summer's Kiln, and I sell the aromatherapy floating moons on my website. They are made each one by hand by my sister, and they are gorgeous. You can, as far away as I am, you can see it shining. It's so pretty. And then the back of it, you just drop oils back there. Oh, and you, you just makes you feel good all day long. It makes you smell better too. We won't even talk about that. <laughs> Thank you, Lolly Lolly Color Theory. Ooh la la, Lolly Lolly. <laughs> I love saying that, can I just say? Wearables, yes. Yes, ma'am, I have lots of wearables in my, it's girlupcycledstudio.com. You can go to the wearables and, ah, oh, 
Michelle just posted it. Thank you, my friend. She's that girl. She's on it. She's so good. Yeah, so if you'd like to get one of these, these little aromatherapy, they're floaty moons and they're beautiful. I wear them almost every day. I have a red one. I have a turquoise. This is called weathered turquoise, I think. I think I said that right. Cobalt blue. I need to send Dion a cobalt blue one because, like, I just look at that and I'm like, oh, I think Dion would like that. <gasps> Don't tell her. Maybe I'll just pop one in the mail for her. I think she would like that. Because I always look at that color and it makes me think of her. For example, a piece in greens and blues. Do I need a pop? Do we do need a pop of what? Do you need a pop? Do you need some pop? <laughs> we call soda pop over here in Ohio. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Texture turquoise. I think I have it as weathered. Sorry, sis. I have it as weathered turquoise. It's textured. But it also looks weathered. <laughs> okay. Lolly, I'm waiting on you to finish your... Do you need a pop of yellow for your greens and blues? Well... You can do a pop of yellow. That absolutely would work. It depends on, okay, when you're doing blues and greens, you want to think about, like, the finished look that you're trying to go for. So if you want something that is contrast, so my shirt, right, blue, the contrast to that, look down here. We've got the oranges and kind of red oranges and a little pop of yellow but look at the contrast it's funny i'm using my guns and roses shirt for this <laughs> color theory but you can see um oh and i'm kind of oops pointing to my boobs too that's probably not good <laughs> sorry about that anyway you can see the contrast this is my point right so you got to think about what you're going for and i teach in my creators club you guys um, a good thing to do when you're brand new at color and you can't think of what you what you like. A lot of times um, people will say, I don't know how to match colors and I don't know how to um, put things together in my art. And then I'm looking at this beautiful girl that's standing in front of me telling me this and she's beautifully put together and her makeup is flawless. Her eyeshadow and, you know, everything's beautifully put together and her earrings match, and her necklace, and her clothing, and I bring that to her attention, that you actually do kind of know color theory, because you're pulling, when you pull yourself together when you're getting dressed, you're matching those colors together. So you, you know, for beginners out there, go find like your favorite dress, or your favorite outfit that you wear, and pull colors from that. Does that make sense? Betsy says she loves her necklace that I got from her. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? Which one did you get, Betsy? I forget. <laughs> I've had makeup on since February, says Lolly Lolly. That's so funny. Yeah, but you can, you can absolutely, um, it's called uh, the contrasting, like the opposite. So then there's monochromatic, which monochromatic is where you use different hues of kind of the same color, but yeah. So maybe we'll get into that a little bit if that's something y'all would be interested in. But meanwhile, I look forward to hearing all of your ideas. Um, let me know um, what you would like to paint. Um, it could be anything from artwork. Art is my love. Art is my first love, always my first love. So um, anything art, um, I'm happy to do, and it won't be a, a huge in-depth session. Um, it has to be something that's start to finish, you know, within a half an hour to an hour max, start to finish, and all that good stuff. Um, let's see, of, of looking at this piece, oranges and blues. bowl of fruits. Oh, well, oh wait, that was somebody else. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to finish this up. 
Um, let's see what it looks like so far. Ah, pretty fun. Hold on. Let me show you. it's looking like so far guys pretty cute right so it is pulling all of those really cute colors out so it's looking way better than what I thought it was gonna look what do you think so I hope you had fun I'm gonna pop on off it here and I'll see you guys um, in a day or two all right for another live I don't know what we're doing, but we'll be here doing something. All right. Maybe we'll do a walkthrough at the studio. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.